So this episode, we're going to call The Fish Hook. I'm going to call it Be a Smart Fish. Be a Smart Fish? Be a Smart Fish. What does that mean? What I tell my clients after, because I see mostly the parents, mm -hmm. so the parents, I tell them after the first session, I'm not changing anything until I treat my team with the rest of my counselors, but be a smart fish. A smart fish, when they recognize the fish hook in the pond, mm -hmm. knows that the fish hook's gonna just catch them in the mouth, hurt their mouth, wheel them in, flip mm -hmm. them around, and so. They just swim past it. They just don't go anywhere near it. They mm -hmm. don't just swim near it. Mm -hmm. Be an informed fish and recognize it. And so what I mean by that is when your child starts those little tiny arguments that you know what I'm talking about. It's like they're baiting you in. They're baiting mm -hmm. you. And they're just trying to start an argument about Anything. what you have for dinner, what your hair looks like, what you have on, what you're, if you're telling them they can't go out. And it's all because they know that they're going mm -hmm. to go use and they need to be not at fault for it. They're so trying they to work themselves up enough to just do be it. blatantly defiant. And not, not feel like they're not doing it, the, it's your fault. Right. Because they need to be the victim. Now the fish hook could be something that they say. The fish hook could be a huff. Ooh, a slam. Or an eye roll. Mm -hmm. Just leave it sitting right there. Slamming a door. It's, it's literally to instigate an argument. And naturally parents go to that because it's being they're being rude they're being disrespectful it's like I, oh you're not talking to me like that right kind of i said you're not going or i can't believe yes you like spaghetti mm -hmm. you just say i tell parents pick a couple lines i'm sorry you feel like that that's a bummer hate that for you i will say campbell i'm sorry you feel like that is like the most like bad finger gesture statement i like it when someone says that to you, you know they're saying like f you just sorry, i feel like that see you see the way she just said it that's like well, it's better, it's better than, um, remember in old IOP, there was a dad who would say, it sucks to be you. And I was like, no, you don't say it sucks to be you. Because that's just, you just threw a fish hook at him. I don't know. I think that, I'm sorry, you feel like that's almost more condescending. Well, what would you say? <laughs> Give me a scenario. I can't believe you're having spaghetti. You know I hate spaghetti. I might say, I know, right? But I like it so much. I'm just, huh? I'm just smarmy. Like I just go in with it. I'm like, I know, dude. Like I never listen. If they say you never listen to me, I'm like, I know, right? Like I just like go with it. But I think but. when you know that your child is off the chain. <laughs> oh, you're just so mad. You can't you're be so funny mad. when you're mad. That's why I say just pick a sentence or two and just use it. I don't care what it is. Whatever mm -hmm. comes out of your mouth naturally. But that's your go-to comment because you, otherwise you're not going to be rational enough mm -hmm. to think through. Well, now what's a very smarmy thing to say? You're going to be like... Unless you're just naturally smarmy. Well, unless you're naturally smarmy. <laughs> but I'm not. I'm naturally charming. You're I'm, smarmy. I'm naturally smarmy. <laughs> so, but the, the main thing out of this, whether no matter what you decide to say, is just don't, don't take the bait. Don't take the bait. Because totally. they're just going to... And it's... It's just going to keep going. And if they're trying to get your permission to do something, because a lot of times that's yeah. where they'll start the argument, and you know that they're ultimately just going to leave and do it, they want, it's weird, but they want to get your permission. It's like they want your blessing on well, it. They, that just, way they don't have to feel bad. I know. So you can just say... It's you, all to mitigate their own shame. You can say, listen, I can't control what you do, but I can't in good conscience sign off on that. I say I don't think that's a very good idea, but you seem to be in charge of your decisions, so... That's up to you. But yeah, so basically, you're not telling them that they can't because you know they're going to anyway, but you're making them walk out the door and do it like knowing With that the, they've... It's, it's on them. Yeah. Like, yeah. In they a way have that ownership that way. They have to own it. And, and if, even if that didn't happen, it just worth so much peace in the house to just not take the bait because it's going to escalate then someone, your husband will chime in, a sibling will chime in, dinner will be ruined the movie will be turned off it's just just say okay it's going to happen anyway mm -hmm. they don't the ticket is just to keep as much calm in your own spirit and in the mm -hmm. rest of the family and the house in general that you can i kind of do that to Weston now and he's like seven. and he's like aggravating me like well, i'll tell you the story you know he doesn't even like four foods right yeah like and it's actually the, and they're all white it's decreasing down like it used to be more chicken like, fingers french fries and milk it doesn't really even eat chicken fingers anymore well, well, i'm telling you like nothing so he will eat Lucky Charms. So I bought them. They had those like Lucky Charms breakfast bars, which is like a Rice Krispie treat 
but with Lucky Charms. I was like, oh, Lucky Charms, you like those? I'm gonna get those for you. And then he just would eat it, and I'm like, Wesson, it's Lucky Charms, like you bite Lucky Charms. And he's like, eh. I'm like, dude, you told me to buy these. And then I just kept on, and I was like, okay, whatever, fine, do what you want. <laughs> I do that, and then it works. Did he eat them? He did tie. It just like hurts his heart when I do the whole give up thing. I'm like, whatever, do what you want. <laughs> that's what I was like. And that's, he, that's not passive aggressive, whatever. I know, but it works. <laughs> okay. At least I'm a seven year old. <laughs> hey, do what you want. This is why she doesn't see the parents. I know the parents are very hard. Right. But anyway, avoid it. Don't do it. Be a smart fish. <laughs>